But I, I really don't think that there is all that much continuity in human experience. And looking back on, say, what I was 20 years ago or 30 years ago, I think, well, uh, who was that? And why was he doing that? And I don't have the answer. You don't have the answer? I don't have the answer at all, no. You don't know what attracted you to the, the beat writers, what attracted you to write? Your degree is in anthropology, is it not? I majored in English and literature at Harvard, and then I took some graduate work in anthropology. So, but you don't know what within you or your background led you to literature? Well, it was, a, it was the easy major. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> the university's out right now. I, right, I yes, think uh, I hear a little applause there. For, uh, but <clears throat> about, uh, well, six hours I could prepare for any exam. No ambition at that time to be a, uh, the kind of writer you, you became, to be a novelist, to join... I wasn't even it? interested in writing at that time. I, uh, I attempted to uh, you know, follow the usual lines of, um, of um, advertising agencies, and I tried to get in... Uh, the precursor of the CIA, what was that with Bill Donovan? I forget what they called it. The OSS? No, that's Yes, I was turned down. Mm -hmm. So I was sort of a wasp washout, you know. Was wasp. <laughs> then what moved you from there into the, into the, the beat movement? Because you and, well, you and Jack, the, 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 three, movement, the yes. three principal names right. are Jack Kerouac, Allen mm -hmm. Ginsberg, and yours. Okay. Yes, but remember the beat movement didn't exist at that time. No, it was invented after it existed, kind of. Uh, yes, yes, you might say so, yes. But I had uh, I had run into uh, Alan and Jack uh, was in the early 1940s, you know, about, yeah, just before the war ended in 1943, 1944. Well, none of us were writers at that time. Jack was the most... Um, devoted writer, he'd written a great deal, and he kept telling me that I was going to write a book, and the book was going to be called Naked Lunch, it was his title. And I said, oh, well, you know, I don't want to do it, you know, I'm not a writer, and uh, so I wasn't, um, I wasn't at all interested in writing at this time. What moved you that way? You say there's no sense of continuity, there must, but there must have been a change. Uh, well. After, um, I guess it was in 1950, and I'd had these experiences as an addict. I was living in Mexico City, and someone suggested to me that I simply write up <coughs> my experiences uh, with heroin addiction, uh, which I did. And that was the book, the first book, Junkie. And then when that was published, that I was encouraged to, uh, to go on with writing. So I was 35 at the time. Even though you say in the book, or you say quite clearly that it's, it's, it's not a useful question, I want to ask yes. it. What, what led you to junk? What? Uh, you say well, I was, around, I was around people that were using it. Uh, then I started, you know, taking an occasional shot. And uh, it is for most people, I think, a, a very uh, pleasurable sensation. It's like what leads people to alcohol or any other drug. They take it and they like it and they take some more. 